I'll just sit in with you up here. Okay. We are going down into the boiler room. Uh, this is where we were in earlier. Okay, I'm alright if you close the door. I think I'll be okay now if you want to close it. This is an EVP session, 21st of November 2009 at the Truckee Hotel. And, uh, I'm going to set the recorder down here. It is 11.22 p.m. Is there anybody here who would like to communicate with me? What's that? Nah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll leave it for me. Okay. That device there with the blue light now turning red and green is an EM pump. And the theory behind those is that they're giving a uh, constant stream of electromagnetic fields. And it's thought that spirits manipulate the field and that gives them a little extra burst of energy to draw from because the belief is that spirits draw from energy around them from equipment and from us to manifest either through making noises or showing themselves as apparitions and that's why we have that EM pump going there just cycling through electromagnetic fields I've got a recorder here to record EVP, which is electronic voice phenomena. And those are voices that are embedded in the recording but aren't heard with the naked ear, so to speak. Is there anyone here who would like to make their presence known to me? loud, distinct sound, unlike the sounds that are being heard down here right now. Can you say something so that I can hear you? Can you whisper in my ear? Can you tap my head? Touch my hand? Knock on this table next to me here? Just as a little background, we, my wife and uh, some of our kids are staying in a room here where a young girl, 10 or 11 years of age, was kidnapped, brought to that room, according to the stories in the newspapers here, and was then murdered in the bathtub across the hallway. We've done some EVP work in there too. And uh, just to document 
on this video, we heard distinctly a child's screech, almost like uh, an unhappy child. And um, I thought it was our daughter, baby Gingy, and my wife was with her at the time and said it wasn't her, she was totally calm. Then my wife and uh, 10 year old daughter heard the same kind of childlike sound on the far end of the hallway. And she thought it was baby Gingy, but I was with her at that point. And we verified with the front desk that there is no family. There's nobody with a child staying on our floor except for us with baby Gingy. So I can't explain that, but it was clear. Several of us heard it. It was a direct voice, which means it was heard out loud. It was not an EVP. And it was just very, very strange. It was very close to us. And very clearly the sound of a child. Now when you look at the evidence, you figure what you've got here is a child who stayed in the room next door from where we heard the shriek. Kidnapped there and murdered across the hallway. And you connect the dots. There's no child staying on that floor. Except for ours, and we verified with the other parent that our baby was totally silent at the time that we heard the shrieks. Is that direct evidence of spiritual activity? No, but it's pretty compelling in my book anyway. I don't know how else you would explain that. There's no TVs on or no other source of where the uh, sound could have come from. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this EVP session and hopefully we'll hear something on the recorder that we didn't necessarily hear with our ears. Nice and warm down here, there's no doubt about that. Boiler room of the Truckee Hotel.